YouTube, what's cool, what's good, what's happening, it's time for life. So, today we are back with another video, Auntie and Uncle are on deck. Today we're going to be reacting to the roommates uh, who uploaded a video called... And basically, I'm just putting this out there. Now, actually, I'm subscribed to the roommates podcast, okay? I think sometimes they have amazing guests on and they bring different perspectives. And it's very interesting to see what people think about different issues in life. And I like how they've grown and everything. But I haven't been watching them for a while and I've stumbled across this video. And I think with the whole Kevin Samuels interview, you know, my feed has changed a little bit. So I saw this video and it was basically a woman calling in saying that she just wanted... Actually, I'm not really sure what she wanted because the whole purpose of her call actually got um, showered with or kind of disappeared because of the questions that this guy asked her but basically i think she was trying to figure out basically how to get a high value man okay and she was kind of explaining that she earns high and he's trying to give her advice i don't know if she got it in the end but we're gonna see what he said and auntie and uncle are going to react as we watch are you aware of the um slide in front of the restaurant about the pepper soup yes so you're aware of what you're asking for the um the exquisite Nigerian meal called the Pepe Soup. I am aware, yep. Okay. So this has to be made clear that we we continue to bash these men, but the women that call in are very aware of what they're calling in for. Mm -hmm. And it's to the point where I'm like, very soon we're going to have these things be scripted <laughs> because mm -hmm. it brings the outrage, it sparks the outrage, it brings the followers, it brings the subscribers. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. One day we're going to hear that some of these were scripted. Just like how a lot of story times on YouTube were mm -hmm. scripted. We're all here outraged making videos like I'm making a video right now. And we will find out that some of these things are fake. Because I cannot imagine that women are this desperate. No, but 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 listen. Uh, this guy that we're watching right now we're listening to right now and all the guys that we've been listening to of late is that the only shows they present no like i said i'm even subscribed to these guys but i haven't seen them for a while because they haven't been coming up on my feed to be honest but they have sometimes very good interviews with other people you know, about because, other things because if this if this is the only show that they, they present i i think it's becoming monotonous because mm -hmm. it is the same thing a woman calling in and they they <laughs> yeah they, they, the woman being put down with disgrace and things like that. Yeah. I think there should be someone to stop them. If they <laughs> if they do these things only to get yeah, subscribers, yeah. if they do these things just to get followers, I, I really don't I really don't think it is a nice way. It goes viral and it gives them more people. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I really don't think it is it is a nice a nice way, mm -hmm. you know, of, of handling a human being. I don't care whether you're a lady or you're a man. For you to come on a public show like that and, you know, be washed down like that, I think it is bad. It is interesting that you say, I don't care if you're a woman or a man. Because a lot of people are arguing that there are a lot of women that are doing this to men. Mm -hmm. There are other channels on the other side of the spectrum. So now I'm seeing a divide mm -hmm. in women and men and specifically black women and men because you will not see this from other creators. I have not seen it yet. Mm -hmm. So there is a divide and the black women are all like, girls, women, this is how you keep up femininity. Mm -hmm. Do this, do that. Or maybe how you groom yourself, how you take care of yourself. Now, this is how you pamper yourself. Remember, you deserve to be pampered. Then, now we go into, okay, you deserve the best in life. Mm -hmm. Take good care of yourself, buy yourself nice things. Now, get a man who is a high value man, meaning good career, good job, good money, and can provide you with a lot of things and a luxurious life and a carefree life. That is the, the narrative, but not only that, it also becomes, oh, some of these black men are not all that. Mm -hmm. And it becomes that kind of narrative as well, bringing black men down. You know, I listen to some of these people and I know that Oh, I can only imagine that as a black man, you feel attacked. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it's almost like there's a war. So if you're belittling black men, I've not seen a, a Oh, there is actually a woman who has a call in show like this, but yeah, it, it's interesting. And she deals with topics like this. 
Oh, she no. has is different. It's kind of different. Remember, remember, Brittany, you asked for it. I didn't give it to you. You asked, correct? Correct. Brittany, what do you want out of life? Uh, definitely want to continue on having a great career, um, husband and a family. No problem. How old are you, Brittany? I'm 31. 31 years old. And where do you live? I live in Ohio. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, what kind of shape are you in? Uh, I would say curvy. Um, I'm not going to say I have a six pack or anything like that. Um, I would go with curvy. On a scale of one to ten, what kind of shape are you in if one is unhealthy and ten is excellent or perfect? I would say like a seven or an eight. Okay. And what kind of men do you want? Um, kind of man. Um, do you have a height requirement? Uh, I was definitely like a tall guy, so I am five one, so... Uh, <laughs> I want someone who is taller than me, and I want someone who is six foot. I'm not mad at you. Can ask for whatever for a number. That's, no, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. You can ask for what you want, girl. Do you have a? Here's the thing. She's very short, or short, and she wants a tall guy. Then he's making her look like she's ridiculous for wanting a tall guy, and she's like, "Look, you asked for a number. I'm giving you my preference," and. Then he also realizes probably that, okay, actually, you're allowed to have your preference. I really don't see anything wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think what shows like this are doing is like women lower your expect expectations, which is fine when we're talking about the money thing. Mm -hmm. Well, is it actually fine? Hold on. Let me see. Actually, no. If you have certain expectations, if you have certain expectations, just stick to it. You know, life is such that certain people might come your way at a certain point in life people will start to see the urgency themselves mm -hmm. so if there's somebody around that's not that six foot tall but she clicks with the person obviously she's going to go for the person it's not a you know you know you know what surprises me i have never heard any of the ladies say if they ask which type of man would you like to have they say oh i mean I, I i don't really i mean i don't really have a choice I mean, a man is a man. Even if he's not good, I can bring him up to certain standard. Yeah, women don't want that. Mm -hmm. Women don't want that. Yeah, yeah but, but, but... Yeah. <laughs> women yeah. don't want that. Yeah, maybe the standards are yeah, but, high. But, 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 but because, you know, they they come with... some. They are, they are both very, very, you know, choicey. You know, Who that both? I, Eh? The, the, the one that we did the other time, oh, the yeah. lady and this one, yeah. you know, that I want this, I don't want that, I want this, I don't want that, you see, and if you look at the, the, the demands that they're coming up with, then you see that it is going, I mean, it is coming to a point whereby, I mean, the asset is going to land them nowhere. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're asking for too much. And not only that. You really have, you, re you really need to lower, you know, the bar a bit. What do you think? People you, don't want to know what this is. Everyone, everybody wants high up. Yeah. yeah. And that's why so many women are remaining single. Yeah. Well, see, but that goes back to kind of what Kevin Samuel said. That is the you'll die alone comment, mm -hmm. basically. You know, but you know, I'm not, I don't think you are saying this to support his argument no, because sir. he himself was single. And to tell allegedly, I have to say allegedly. Okay, I don't know his but 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 to tell a woman that she's going to die alone. It's bad. I, I I am an African, and uh, I don't think it is it is very it very no. I don't think you you are cursing her. Certain amount of money you want to make a year. Uh, I would definitely like him to either be um making the money that I'm making or more. And how much is that? Out of curiosity, seventy seventy thousand a year. Okay. So, do you have an ethnicity requirement? I prefer African American. Are you on Instagram? You are not a seven at all. Okay. You are. You're five foot one. In all due respect, okay. how, how much do you weigh? I weigh about two hundred. So, you're five one. What? What? How did you come about that number? Um, uh, we just made five. That's 
just what I, I think maybe just the average looking. I don't know. Average is five. But back to the average. You can't be you can't be so you know choicey. They are not prepared. What do you mean? I mean, their demands are too much. I don't think they are ready to have any relationship. They are ready, but they are going in, they want to go in once and then get the best out of it, mm. you know. I mean, at a certain age, that's what you have to do. Mm. There's no time to be dating one year, two years, three years. Mm. Mm-hmm. She's at that age where she's she's ready. Anyway. Mm. You're five one, two hundred pounds. That is extremely unhealthy. What does your doctor say when you go to the doctor? Five so again we're asking a bunch of irrelevant questions Mm -hmm. the woman wants a man but again we're asking questions that's just going to humiliate her Mm -hmm. if she now says well when i go to the doctor she said i might die in a year and get diabetes what's that gonna solve (laughs) if he knows that like i don't understand these questions one two hundred i'm i'm six foot 195 i am active so yes i'm doing What's the heaviest you ever weighed? What has that got to do with her right now at her 200 and whatever pounds or whatever trying to get a man today? Mm. Now we're going into the past. No, but you see, the fact is, I can understand that question a bit. Okay, because explain. He's, uh, he, she's asking the woman how much he's the heaviest that she's ever weighed. Yeah. You know, so maybe she wants to know. She's looking for a man. Yeah. Men don't like fat women. Mm-hmm. So she is trying to get from the woman w- at least what she is doing in her life to make sure that she she reduces a bit. Right. You know, maybe you see if, if she said she was 240 mm-hmm. and she's now 200. Mm-hmm. And I think I heard her say she's been going to the gym mm-hmm. or something like that. Then at least you see that she's making some effort to make sure that she reduces. Yeah. You know, so I can understand that question. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that is misplaced. Uh- heaviest you ever got to? This is my heaviest. How how much did you weigh in high school? Um, I would say I was probably in the 150s. And on a scale of 1 to 10, what kind of shape were you in high school? Now I get it. Because he's gone to high school, he's trying to also see where her mind is at. So you were lighter then. What would you rate yourself then? What is your self-image like? Mm. But we must not forget that there are men who like chunky women. Mm. So I, they feed them. To oh, okay. That's a whole different type yeah. of men that I don't even want to get into because mm-hmm. they're very unhealthy. But anyway, um, yeah. So we cannot say like now what these shows are doing is like it's all doom and gloom. You don't stand a chance. Mm-hmm. Make yourself like these Instagram models, or else you'll be alone. Who? Mm-hmm. Or else you'll be alone forever. And that is wrong. But anyway. Your own health, not even for men. It's not about men here. Is your family? Is your family? Is your family uh, obese? No, it's not something that runs in the family like that. Then why are you overweight? You make $70,000 a year. You know how much you spend a month? That means you got money left over to spend and invest back into yourself, correct? Absolutely. The greatest investment you will make in your life is to get yourself a no BS physical trainer. You losing 50 pounds, you will evolve like a champ, a Charmander going to a Charmeleon. Because there's a hidden character. There's an attractive hidden character inside of you. But they can't see it because of all the unhealthy weight. Pause. Come on. <laughs> you can't see somebody's character because they're overweight. See, that's the problem. That that line right there is the whole entire problem. Because we are not even talking about the character. We're talking about a lot of superficial stuff. That's not right. What do you mean a guy cannot see through weight? Some of the most friendly, charismatic people and nice people to be around, warm people, are overweight in showbiz, in whatever. What is he talking about? Maybe the people who have these shows are the ones with superficial ideas. But the problem is they're now putting this on women. And are they now starting to believe this as well? I fear that these shows are going to put people in a box. But, uh, you know... And like, never come out. Like, like I have said repeatedly uh i i really find it very very regrettable that the women are also putting themselves in situations like this you see if you need a man there are better ways of you know going about it than just to come you know publicly with your weight and your history and everything about yourself 
and to be disgraced like that. I don't think that is a, the way to go. That is, that is not the right way to go. Mm-hmm. You see? And like I said, these men hosting programs like this, I don't know whether they do it because they really want to have a lot of followers. Mm-hmm. Because the way they treat the women, it isn't actually good. You can talk to a woman that way, and the woman, you know, if I don't know what, what that can do to your self esteem. You know, because you let the woman fail, she doesn't even belong to the human race. <laughs> just for the fact that, just for the fact that wow. she is, she is, she is fat and things like that. Yeah, okay, maybe it is not of her own doing. There are certain women they give birth, and after giving birth, mm-hmm. they just blow out. Mm-hmm. They become fat. Mm-hmm. You know. And guys wouldn't know a thing and, about and, that. And, and 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 I have known a woman. She doesn't even eat much, very very little, and she just. Gain, gaining the weight and weight, it it can be gene, genetical, mm-hmm. you know, right, something wrong. Well, he asked whether it's in the family, and she yeah. was like, no. And then he said, so why are you overweight? And I was like, again, it could be depression. It could, you know, it, it's you know. Mm. So if you come on the show and you are being treated this way, eh? Uh, you 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 will leave the show, go back home, and you will think, oh, uh, so that is who I am. I, I am nothing. Because <laughs> this is yeah. This is what the guy has told me. They don't come to him for. I mean, just for nothing. They come to him because they know he's in a position to give them advice. Mm-hmm. You know. So if the only advice you are getting from like you are base and you are this and you are that and you are that, you conclude that oh, I went to the guy that I thought could help me, and this is all that I had. Yeah. You, you might as well, you know. Uh, not gone to the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what they get out of it. So you want a guy who's tall. A guy can't change his height. So an average guy who's 5'9 is screwed. But you can at least change your weight. She can definitely change her, her weight. There are a lot of women. Look, do you know the world population? If we should share the women among the men, I think everybody will get about two and a half. That is the problem that women are facing. Loads of us and not too many of y'all. So that, that's actually the, the, the next crisis that we're dealing with. Over $70,000 a year, top 20% of guys, you, you need to come come correct. He's promoting a course that's called uh, the manhood course. So on top of everything, he has a course where he's teaching men to be men. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So men are also going for advice from this guy um, on how to be men. I don't know. I don't know if this is how he talks to women and tries to help women. The course. I don't know. You know what? I will, if he if men men go to him for advice, I would like to see one of his shows where men have actually gone to him and what sort of advice they get from him. You see, because I I think uh, the way he spoke to this lady is it, not actually the way to go. Okay, you heard what African auntie and uncle had to say. A lot of uh, opinions there. Um, Yeah, you know, with a lot of these people, I agree and then I disagree. They have a point, but then they also don't have a point. So yeah, that was it for today. Um, Make sure you stay tuned. And if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stomp. And don't turn the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while chatted. I'll see you in the next video which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless.